Tom, I want to see if my husband is the first one joining. You were the first one! Well... Welcome! Welcome! Hi, guys. I'm sorry, I'm... Um, can you get me some Oakley, please? Um, sorry, I'm a little late because we've been having some lighting issues today. I don't know why. Uh, yes, please. Just a, just a little bit of my tea. Sorry. Uh, I don't know why we've been having some lighting issues, so I hope you can see it. We have a very ambitious project today, which is um, a black bean burger with sweet potato fries. Uh, hi, you guys. Welcome. Happy Monday. Um, I want to hear about your weekend. Before I do though, I'm going to just show you, I'm going to just start, get some stuff going and then we have our comment reader. Uh, thank you, you very much for my tea. No, thank you. Okay. Um, having some tea. My throat is a little not at its best today. So, ah, okay. Um, welcome. So, let's start cutting these fries and then when you're free and you want to read what they... Tell me, it's so weird because I see myself in the other camera there on Ben's phone. Uh... <laughs> meta, 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 meta. Okay. Meta, meta, meta. <laughs> Thank you. So let's cut these fries now. Um, I'm gonna cut them three inch long and one inch wide. Sweet potato? Yeah, but you know, I didn't know what an inch looked like, so I had to go with the measuring tape. <laughs> and I don't even know if this is the best way how to cut them. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna cut them um, like old fashioned way. And also they may not even be all the same, but you know what? I don't really care. They're gonna be delicious. So I, I wanted to make something completely different. And just like every Monday then, um, the plan changes. So I'm gonna do something like this. The light is really awful, like seriously. I don't know how to show you guys. We need to figure hold something out. Hold it low, hold it low. You don't hold have to it hold low? it direct. Okay. Hold it like down here. Down here? Yeah, okay. the color is great. You don't have to hold it. So right uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something like this. Even and if you uh, get it closer down here, it's fine. And then I'm gonna put in this bowl because then I'm going to, uh, dress them okay so um yeah i wanted to make something completely different and then i didn't find what i wanted at the farmer's market so like every monday i changed the plan kind of last minute which i guess it's how things go in real life you know you don't always have the time to do what you want right so let's cut these and even if they're not this is not perfect it's not a, you know when you when you buy when you go to a restaurant they cut the, the, their fries for sure they cut their fries by hand, you know that they're not perfect and they're delicious anyway. Otherwise they're cut by a machine and you can tell. So I'm going to do a very, the light is not nice. What do you, can you, what's, do you like it? There's something yeah. wrong, right? I don't know. It, it's How's the light like, guys? I'm sorry. It's a little I don't know why. It's weird. It's a little overexposed. It's a little overexposed. It's fine then. Very technical today. We're a little overexposed. Um, I don't know why. Is my skin shining too much for, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you've been talking about your complexion and you are going to cut your fingers. Carefully. Yeah, can you just, uh, who, did someone say that? No, I did okay. Somebody also said, so nervous you will cut your hands when you cut things like this. So you guys, how was your weekend? What did you do? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What did we do? Uh, we went to the library on, on Saturday. We had a rainy weekend here in LA, which, you know, I know that we need it so you can't complain, but difficult uh but it was a lovely weekend ended up being a beautiful weekend library some christmas market uh friends over what else did we do mustard seed was really good mustard seed we went to the to yeah we had breakfast with catherine and mustard seed then what did we do we went some we did some shopping because catherine's birthday is coming up Guys, she's turning two. So how many in the audience here are parents? And how many do they, uh, do you guys have like small kids? You know, um, yes. PG Diane says she entertained their four-year-old grandson. So there you go. And um, Michelle said, had a day at the Botanical Gardens in Encinitas. Oh, nice. Oh, we should go. We should definitely go. Um, 
Um, I want to show you something, guys. I don't know if it's winter that slows my brain. Does it happen to you? To you, Ben? Oh, yeah. Winter, spring, and uh, summer? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like my brain sometimes, today is going so slow. And I did so much, actually. Maybe that's why. Maybe I'm just tired. So, let's... Um, so many people have kids, my love. So many people have kids. Uh... Chinese people won't be happy. And Shelly doesn't remember what she did. With, with, the, with the rain? Just with the weekend. See, you know, it's interesting because if I think about, I don't think that my parents, the weekend was the, was the, 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 the you know, the two, were the two days when my mom would have more time to, to do things around the house. So I don't think that my parents really um, f tried to find a constant entertainment, cultural entertainment for my, me and my brother. And not that they were bad parents, they just couldn't. And so sometimes I think Catherine is really a lucky girl that, you know, because my parents did, did their best, but you can always, you know, the weekend is often the, the one time in, in the week when you just do whatever you can do during the week. So I'm, 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 I'm trying to remember whether it was that a big deal for my parents to find interesting thing for me and my brother to do when but yeah the weekend is for some reason isn't that interesting that the weekend is supposed to be the happy time of the week when you do you know when you can enjoy your life and often actually is the saddest day of the week no. because you know no? the weekend is like if, if you work monday through friday yeah then the weekend is like thank god well, i look forward to the weekend well not really because i don't Answer or read my emails on the get up. But Thank no, really, Ben. God. People that work all week, every day, they use the weekend to do the the work at home. So I'm wondering, do you guys like the weekend? I know that we have talked about this. Speaking, you know, talking about the whole. Yeah, we talked about this. Oh my God, am I getting old? And I talk about the same thing over and over again. Oh my God, baby, you look so old. No, it's <laughs> not what I look like. Is is am I? You know that I'm already an eighty year old. Eight inside. or eight. 80, you know that. Mar ben married an old woman inside. Um, no, but um, yeah, oops. Yeah, I think that I'm, I'm repeating myself. Is that, I don't know. Oops, here it is. Yeah, so um, tell me, what did they do? What did our friends do? Cutting this try is very not professional, <laughs> but who cares? I wanna read you guys now. It says. You're so normal, it's scary. Someone says. Um, no. You, you, Did it, she say you, that? It's the other way around. Oh, you're so scary. It's normal. Oh, sca no what? <laughs> what did you say? What did she say? She is said, it you're Susie? You're so normal. It's scary. It's Susie, yeah, it's you're Susie, so yeah. normal. It's scary. Yeah. Hi, Susie. Oops. Wait a minute. Who cares? Am Sunday said. Who cares? Well, we all care. What did he say about Sunday? What did she or he say about Sunday? That's okay. Tell me his name or her name. It's A M M Sunday. Okay. And I do not know what who cares is the answer to what question is the answer to, unless it's like do you like the weekend? Hmm. Well, let's wait on the on, let's wait on the on the reply. Uh, oops. Lindsay joined. Who else joined? Hi, Lindsay. Kara Tarul joined. Hey, Kara. Welcome, Re Rio welcome, Rita welcome. joined. That redhead in LA joined. Wow. Hey, everybody. Okay, so just for those who are Henry Furman joining Jim. now. Oh, we have a lot of French fries. We can give some to Lise. Catherine will love them. So we're making sweet potato fries, uh, non-professionally cut, as you can see. And we're making a black bean burger that I've never attempted before. So I think I'm using this gathering here to just experiment new things. So whenever you guys are ready, I'm going to announce da -da -da -da, a, the name of this show. Or as we do with Catherine, we, do, we are reading this book called, Hey, it's me world, it's Catherine. And all the animals in our room in, I mean, the book, they celebrate and welcome her in the world, right? So there is the, there is the stuffed monkey and the little giraffe that, to welcome Catherine in the room, play a little, how is it called then, that thing? 
Oh, the, the little trumpets? Trumpet. It's not a trumpet. Not. But anyway, so should I do it with them? <laughs> <laughs> so we announced Catherine, you know, they, they, they welcome Catherine in the world. So, <laughs> and we okay, announced the title of the of this show. So, fries. Ta-da! We're going to dress these fries now with, very simply, I'm going to put some time. And also, look at this. I'm dressed nicely for you guys today. I recorded a video earlier in my sweatpants and my boots. Uh, yeah, and look, I cleaned up nice for you guys. So maybe next week we can all dress up. Because it's important, actually, this is what I want to talk about today. Before I announce the name of the show, I think that we should announce towards the end so people don't leave. We can create suspense. Suspense? Suspense? How do you, how do you pronounce it? Sweatpants? Suspense. Suspense? Suspense. 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 Sweat. So let's get suspense, and we're gonna announce the date, the, the name of the show at the end, so none of you leaves. Um, but I want to see the number going up to two hundred today. <laughs> numbers, numbers, numbers. Numbers, numbers. So let's talk about this. I was just talking about I like this about topic. Numbers. Let's talk about this topic. Let's talk about this topic. See, Olive water. oil, salt, black pepper. I'm gonna put some thyme. Um, let's talk about how many of you either work from home or don't really have to dress up on a daily basis, put makeup on, or if you're a man, well, put makeup on if you're a man, who knows. Mm -hmm. But how many of you don't have to do that? And how do you, do you get comfortable in your non, if you do that, in non, um, not, you know, getting dressed, uh, not putting makeup on, because it can become a comfort Thing not to, sometimes I feel like I live in my sweatpants and I don't I feel so uncomfortable when I put some makeup on or I put a nice dress on because I have to and I remember a friend of mine during a when I was going through a very bad depression she told me just when you wake up in the morning after breakfast even if you don't have to go anywhere just put some makeup on and get dressed and I don't always do that because often I can just be at home and. I really find this familiar comfort in a pair of sweatpants and, and no makeup. So today, I really made a point of, of um, and even in the show sometimes, I realize that I'm wearing my jeans and my t-shirt and I just maybe put a little bit of mascara or some makeup or nice shoes. But today I made a point of, I want to get dressed nicely for my friends. Just like, you know, this is a dinner, dinner gathering. We're uh, cooking together, like, you know, we're in the same kitchen. We're all gathered here, we, we prepare the meal, and then we eat it, right? So let's, um, so I thought, I want to get dressed nicely for them, and maybe next week, you can do it too. And I know that there's no camera right now in front of you, uh, but there can be, because if I include you in the show here, you can be in, this, in the camera as well, but for you, because this is about you know, getting dressed for yourself, not really for anybody else. So tell me what's your experience and uh, if it's something that you struggle with, there's something you would like to do and don't do, or if you have to go to a daily job every day that actually involves makeup and, and uh, shoes and all that good stuff. So yeah, share it with me because I could really use some advice and... Uh, you know, just to find a balance because I think that that's what it is about, finding a balance. So I put some time, not too much because I really want to taste the, the fries. So, yep. right? Yes. What? Did I put too much time? No, I'm just like, let's, fries please. No, I want to, not that I want to, I want to taste that, I want to have the taste of the sweet potato. That's what I meant. Uh, I want to taste the fries. Sometimes I don't think I can express myself well in English. But... So let me see. I'm going to put some more oil. So I like it. I like to um, to dress the fries before in a in a bowl so that that the the, the condiment is is um, uniform. Uniform? No. You say uniform. Uniform. Why don't I know how to speak e English today? So the condiment is distributed, distributed evenly. Distributed evenly. Oh my god, you should be my subtitler. Subtitler. You know I We can put subtitles speak. in this show. Uh, so Tell me, Ben, share with me their experience. Share with me their well, experience. experience and can hope. Um, no, there's the experience of, yeah, why not? What Get we have dressed. here is, you're so bad joined. Hi, you're so bad. Justin and sis run to Can, I, can I, I, sorry, you're so bad. 
Can you remind me your name, please? Because I don't want to call you Yersebet. <laughs> you told me already, I'm sure. I know that you did, right? It's weird with nicknames. Lindsay, Lindsay said, oh. Lindsay said. Okay, now, sorry, let me just tell, then I, I'm, I'm gonna listen to what you have to say. I'm just gonna put them on a uh, my, my, my baking sheet with the silicone sheet. And I'm gonna bake them now for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna just flip them and bake them for another 10, 15 until they're nice and crunchy. There's a lot here. And then we're gonna move on to, the, to our burger. Lindsay said she has to, she goes days without getting to real clothes and definitely has to make an effort to get dressed. See? Lindsay, huh. are you Cindy's niece or is that just my imagination? Um, some people Who's work niece? from home. Cindy, in Who's Seattle. Niece? Cindy oh, in Seattle. Hey Cindy? Cindy! I, I, no, no, no. It's, no? Um, I wonder if Lindsay's her niece, but I may oh. be completely wrong. Um, let's see. Ah, McElhan Willis says, that's one reason I haven't retired yet. I'm afraid I would never get dressed. Interesting, yeah. Because I started doing when I became a, I was a freelance translator. And so all of a sudden I, had to, I was working from home and I really became so comfortable not getting dressed. I mean, getting dressed, but not dressed up. That then every time I had to go out and put some clothes on, nice clothes on or makeup, I wouldn't even recognize my face in the mirror. There's this kind of uh, dissociation that comes with the with the habit, in my in my experience. Then, Tizzle, bike yeah. lover Susie uses dried basil on the sweet on the sweet potato oh, fries inter- sometimes. Oh, I have basil outside. For- um, you're so bad's name is Bobby. Bobby, hey Bobby. And Bob Dionisi wants yeah. you to say something in Italian. I think maybe he doesn't trust you. Sono italiana, accurate. sono italiana 100%, nata ad Avigliana nella provincia di Torino e mi sono trasferita negli Stati Uniti nel 2009. Do you understand that? I don't. Lindsay, the other Lindsay, not Lindsay Coy, is Cindy Hewen's niece. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry guys. <coughs> so, ideally, uh, you would, uh, when it's so many, but more, way more than I thought. With so many ideas, you would put them on two baking sheets because I want really them to, to become crunchy. I'm a little lazy and they're not enough for two, so probably I'm just lazy, that's all. It was barely enough for one. So I'm gonna put them at 400 in the oven for 10 minutes. Let's look at the time. Now, uh, keep, I'm gonna keep listening to you guys. I just wanna show you what I'm doing now for the uh, black bean burgers. Can I tell you one thing? Yeah. Cookie says that carrot fries are great too. Oh yeah. And uh, Trice Kilroy, how do you, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Trice Trice Kilroy says, hi Alice, Trice is here from Newport. Hi. I'm I'm friends with Richard. Oh, hi. Welcome. Right, 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 right. Hi. Welcome. 400, yes. So, um, to start the black bean burger, I'm going to saute the onions because I think that that's what really is going to make them tasty. You, if you are in a hurry, you can uh, skip that. I saute the onions. Now, the ingredients are onions, mushrooms, because they, have a beautiful, they give a beautiful flavor. Uh, the only thing I did to prep this, I just sliced the onions. Maybe I'm gonna actually get the camera a little bit closer. And uh, so mushrooms that I'm gonna saute with the onions, black beans, uh, oh, flax meal, soy sauce, Worcester, Worcester sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcester sauce. and um, that's it, salt. And I have some breadcrumbs, not sure whether I'm gonna use them or not. But, uh, we'll see. Then we are going to saute this onion. Ben, I am very far from the camera, so I really need you to I'm read what they say. That, okay. Let me just tell, finish telling them what I'm gonna do. So, so I'm going to saute the onions. I actually need to get the camera closer so that you guys can see this. And then um, we're going to use the food processor to blend, partially blend, uh, oops, 
partially blend the, this mix. Uh, I don't want it too blended, but just enough to make a patty. This is completely vegan. Yes, I'm not gonna use Parmesan cheese in this. This okay. is vegan. Okay. This is gonna be vegan. Um, so I'm not using eggs, but I never made this before. So, just so you know. Go ahead now, my love. BC7502 says, you would be so good on Food Network, I can never cook and explain slash talk at the same time. Michelle 2000 works in construction, so jeans and boots but makeup every day. Sexy. Yeah, pretty good. Queen Hell Dragon joined finally right on. Um, Welcome. Bob Dionisi, thank you. And Lou Gold wants to know how much Italian I understand. I'm not sure. He selling, understands everything. But the most um, important question yeah. is uh -huh. AMM Sunday wants to know is 400 degrees correct? Yes, correct. Uh, I want to tell you something about, you know, so I don't remember who said I would be good on the food network because I can talk and two things. One, I think I should start talking slower. <sighs> something that I was told since I was a kid. Unless you talk too fast. But it's interesting you say that because at the very beginning of the show, when I was cutting the, the fries, I had this moment of, oh my God, I don't know. What am I going to talk to them about? This show is going to be so boring. And so, is true. I think I can, I do it pretty decently, but it's also because of you guys, because the difference, the big difference in this show is that um, it's not just, I'm not teaching you how to cook. What I love about this and what really makes it different from what I've seen on TV so far is that it's a collaboration. It's a, it's a, it's a relationship. It's not just me talking to a camera and telling you how to slice onions. Um, and because that's not what I have ever meant to do. It was this, what, what, the reason why it comes out good is that there is a relationship with you guys. So it's a conversation and and just a little bit of skill in, in you know, cooking as I talk to you. But I think that what really makes it special is that we have a relationship and we communicate. So this by no means is a show about how to, um, how to cook. I just share with you what I can do, but, uh, and remind you guys, don't leave this because I'm going to reveal the big name. I'm going to eat for the card, okay? Ciao, patatina. We did a Chinese amici. Molto, we did a ciao nostri amici. We have a guest here in the ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao, ciao, ciao piccola. Con papà, con papà. And this, oh, oh, because she likes the camera. A little too much. She likes the camera. Ciao ciao. ciao. You want to come to papà? Sto facendo le cipolle. She wants salt, tiny salt. Sto facendo le cipolle, amore. Tiny salt. Tiny salt. And this is much of papa. Okay. So, uh, Ben, can you read the comments? Because we were talking okay. about how this is not a, food, a, a show about... Andiamo. Yeah, Andiamo. Salt. Andiamo. Guys, do you have experience with kids Andiamo. that love to eat salt? Like, tiny, tiny, salt. Salt. tiny, tiny, tiny salt. salt. She would just eat salt. So, I want you to read the comments because we were discussing how, you know, this is the reason why this show comes out nice. Because it's a relationship. We, we talk to each other. It's not really a show about how to cook something. You know, okay. and also I really eat this for dinner. People ask me, "This is not a. This is not a. a this is real. I'm gonna eat this burger, and Captain will eat it tomorrow, hopefully." So go ahead, my love. Well, um, before wait, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but is the smell of fried onions? It's something that is so good. And I think I told you this before, my mom hates onions, so she would never cook onions in the house. And so going to my grandmother's house was a treat because she, my grandmother would always cook onions. And so to this day, when I cook, I use onions a lot. And to this day, when I smell the stir fried onions, it really reminds me of my grandmother. And I think that most of the food that I make actually reminds me of my grandmother a way, in a way or another. But it, it, it's something that, I love so much fried onions. Ooh, delicious. Sorry, keep going. Okay, Queen Hella Dragon, who just joined in, yeah. Hi, said, wow. you look lovely in the angle is perfect. Oh, thank you. LD says, why are y'all not on the Food Network yet? 
Thanks for such easy step-by-step -step directions. Run Hard says hello. Um, let me see. Queen Howl Dragon had to feed the kitties. Run Hard says, what about vegan sausage with peppers, Italian style? Um, I, the, I think I made, I don't know if I made them on the show, but yeah, I would say absolutely. Oh, Car A. E. Carey. The Beyond Meat, the sausage is actually pretty good. A. E. Carey wants to know what's for dinner. They're late. Oh, we have, uh, oh, let's look at the time. We have sweet potato fries and black bean burger. I am frying the onions, and now I'm gonna put the mushroom in a second. Queen Hallow Dragon has to, has to go for a second because, oh hell, she forgot to charge her phone. Okay, come back. Um, let me see. This smells so good. I would just, now I would just eat it with, on a bruschetta. Ooh, toast on bread and fried onions on top. Nothing else. It. Shelly Saffold said, Food Network, take off Rachel Ray and put on Alice. Well, yeah. no, how about both of them? Uh, can I just say one more thing about onions? Guys, would you like me to make an onion frittata one day? That was my grandmother's to-go dish. The, just like onion frittata. It's a fritta frittata. Yes or no? I'm waiting, but, but um, you know, we're getting wonderful things. Bobby, you're so bad, says, I'm glad this isn't just a cooking show because I'm not much for cooking. You've created a wonderful community and that's the idea. Um, Lou Gold said, thanks for sharing your home and cooking. That makes this a great show. Uh, Lindsay Cindy's niece says, that's what I like about your show. It feels like we're in your kitchen. You guys um, are. PG Diane says, I like the feeling of welcome in your home. Queen's Back says, we're still in the burgers, right? We yeah, I'm are. Just, I'm just opening the window. We are. Um, and regarding eating salt, Joan Pullman's niece would eat butter when she was a little kid. I eat it now. Um, wow, this is fantastic. Um, let me see. Yes, she does. Well, you, 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 do you ever put hot sauce in a meal? Oh, yeah. As an ingredient? Um, yeah, when I make your collards. This is true. I'm just like cutting the, the mushroom here. Now it's not, it's not really important to um, to cut these mushroom and the onions perfectly because we're gonna really blend them in the in the blender. So don't worry too much about about the shape, the you know the how they are all cut together. And just a reminder, I know that I keep saying this, but Abby and Valerie are really working hard on 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 building my website. They're building it together, but they are the experts. Um, so it will. It's this the recipe is going to be on the on the website. Oh, oh, you're not supposed to shoot them on the on camera. Uh, you're going to have this recipe on the website with every recipe that we have made together, every recipe that I have filmed um, on the ten, in the ten minute videos. Everything will be for you free on the website. So all you have to do is try and make it and let me know that you did. Send me a picture. Send me a lovely picture or I need to turn to uh, change the fries. So, who are Bingo. you texting, I love? Um, I am texting back. Donna Lou said, what's, I just got home from work, what's cooking? It's bean burgers and sweet potato fries, right? Yep, bean burger and sweet potato fries. Oh, why does time really? Go Joan so Baker fast. says it smells great, by the way. It does. Mushroom and onions. It makes me just want to not make the burger, just eat mushroom and onions. Suggestions for a substitute yeah. for the non-mushroom lover? Uh, mushroom are actually not a must in here. I think the mushroom in, a, in vegan uh, burgers just taste like they have this meat-like taste. Um, you can easily skip them and uh, maybe use some smoked paprika to give the flavor and a lot of the flavor is going to also be given by the soy sauce here. So what I like about mushrooms is that the, they, they give a lot of moisture to the, to the dish. Uh, you can use uh, cabbage actually, it's a great thing, I think it gives a lot of, uh, I think it in a dip, with a different flavor, it uh, it does achieve the same result, but you can easily skip them. 
Okay, so here, and now I'm just gonna, I put a, a clean on this mushroom. I'm gonna actually use them for something else because I don't wanna put too many. Um, so I, I don't know, just a handful. This is really more for a depth of flavor. Do you want me to clean the mushrooms? No, they're really clean, they're done here. Uh, I'm just gonna now wait for this to um, heat up and cook a little bit more. One more. I love mushrooms. I understand that it's something that you either like or not. It's a specific, um, but I'm a mountain girl. So I grew up eating mushroom and going mushroom picking with grandpa. So now I wanna just check on the fries. I'm gonna Lou, heat on a little uh, bit more. Lugold wants to know how you're gonna bind the burger together. And actually you aren't using, you're going vegan. So how are you I'm binding going vegan, together? you know, it's a question that I'm asking myself too. Oh, are they gonna be? I got some glue. So, you know, I, um, I researched some recipes online to, uh, to get inspiration for this, and then I kind of made my own. But I'm guessing, well, I'm using some flex meal. So, not in a so egg substitute kind of way, so I'm not really letting it soak to, um, to create the egg substitute. But flex meal tends to keep things together. So we'll see, and you know what, if they don't, this is an epic fail and we're not gonna make it anymore. So that's a good question. I've been asking myself that question since I decided to make this dish. I just wanna flip the fries. It's not gonna be easy to flip these fries. Lots of, people, lots of people want the frittata and some, there's question, several questions about what kind of mushrooms. Hmm? There's several I questions use, Okay, so ideally, if you have porcini mushrooms, Perfect. That would be lovely. It's very hard, I know. I'm not a fan of dry mushrooms. Only in some soups, this fries need a lot of time. So I'm going to actually put a 450, my fries. I put the oven up to 450, okay? So the convection is on, by the way. So these are a mix of wild and creamy mushroom because that's what I found yesterday at the farmer's market. I don't love shiitake mushroom. Because for some reason, they to me, they taste garlicky, and I'm not a garlic person. By the way, it's, is it only me that thinks that shiitake mushrooms are garlicky? Uh, love this cremini. This cremini mushroom really reminds me of the mountain of Val d'Aosta, where I was raised with my grandparents. I mean, not really raised, but where I spent a lot of time in my childhood. And the smell, this is pure smell of mountain for me of grandma, onion and mushroom. If you break, if you crack an egg here and do like a scramble egg with mushroom and, and a lot of onions, smell it. Mm, wow. It's fantastic, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put some, huh? That is good. It's good, right? Yeah, absolutely. Frittata, so frittata, frittata, that's the word. Okay, I'm gonna make a frittata one, day, one of these days. I need to buy eggs though. We're running out of eggs. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to add, should I add the Worcestershire sauce here or when we blend? And maybe when we blend. Ask. Huh? Ask. Ask. What do you guys think? See, right, see, this is a relationship. Um, mm -hmm. What are we doing, guys? Are we adding the soy sauce and the Worcestershire sauce right now? Or? <laughs> Cosa dici, Catherine? Adesso o dopo? Piccola. Maybe. Or in the, in the food processor. I don't know. What's your take on this, guys? I'm really curious yeah, to see how this comes out. To a bottiglia? Hmm? You can use the... Um, yeah! Yeah! Cosa vuole? Ta. Ta. Cosa vuole? Ta. Ta. Cosa ta? Oh, il, ca, il, il tappuccio. So, you can use a small paprika in here, a little bit of oregano, which probably I'm going to use. Ben, can you please uh, read what they think about... Oh, no! This is my secret ingredient for this. You better put it how in there. How could I about it. Fennel seed, you guys. Fennel seed. Please use fennel seed in your cooking. I'm gonna, this is gonna make it really good. And I'm going to put it here because it, I like, I think I like when it releases, it kind of toasts and I like when it releases the essence. So then it's gonna all be blended with the black beans. Black beans, today I, um, like most days, I don't really have much time. So I've used canned organic black beans. If you have dried beans, by all means, soak them, cook them with a little bit of water, a bay leaf, 
an onion and otherwise canned black beans, totally cool and legit. That's what we're gonna use today. Okay, let me try, let me see. So, Ben, any news? Um, let me see. Jane Fitzgerald pepper. said, wow. Bike lover Susie said, fennel will be amazing in them. Um, let me see. People are excited about the secret ingredient. By the way, fennel, and now I use fennel seed, which is a secret ingredient in many of my recipes. You can actually also here saute some fennel, and then it, I think it would make a perfect, beautiful addition to, if you like that flavor, uh, to the burger. Now, we're basically ready here. So the, now, I know that you think that it's, uh, it, well, everything will be basically cooked, okay? So the beans are cooked, this is cooked. We're gonna add the, the, uh, a little bit of flex meal, and then of course I'm gonna cook the burgers. I'm gonna make them with some olive oil in a skillet, because I think that the skillet is gonna give them a nice crust. The oven is probably healthier, but, you know, sometimes. I have a question. Can, yes, my love. Can you extend the show? I can't extend the show because Instagram doesn't allow me to. Instagram Live is only one hour. Curse you, Instagram. I mean, you could stop the show. And, but, you know, one hour, I think, is the spin that people can really bear. The spin of attention that people can give me, you know. Flex meal. Flex seed, you're saying, right? Flex meal. Flex seed meal. I'll show, can you okay. show? Like here. So it's basically grounded. Um, I said this in a show, uh, when you want to substitute eggs, one egg is, to substitute one egg in, every, in any recipe, three tablespoons of water to one tablespoon of flex meal. Now, that's substitute one egg. In my opinion, when a recipe calls for three eggs and you're using substitutes, use the substitute for four eggs. It binds it better. And it, it tastes fantastic, by the way. I baked cookies with, no, I baked, I didn't bake cookies, I baked uh, meatballs with it, and it tastes fantastic. I made a meatloaf with it, it tastes fantastic. This smell is heaven. So it's really important. What really makes these meatball, these burgers, is how much and how well you really stir fry the onions and the seed, the fennel seed and the mushroom or whatever you're using instead of mushroom is really going to give the depth of flavor. Then you can add the soy sauce and all this stuff, but the real depth of flavor is the, is the browned onions. Is this, you know, it's because everything is coming together and it's, that is gonna really make the burger special. Yes, babe? Well, um, let's see. Queen Hella Dragon said, uh, ask, does it bind as well as an egg? Yeah, that's what I said. You should use one extra when the, uh, it, it, it binds very well, but I would use one extra. And Janie Fitzgerald, yeah. Hi, Janie. Hi, Janie, asks, is the cooking skillet cast iron or what, meaning the small one? The small one, you know, it's a stone. It's called, I bought it a long time ago at Ross. So, uh, Ross sometimes says, it's a stone. This is a synthetic stone though, right? Yeah, it's flonal, made in Italy. I don't know, we need to check. But I'm really, I'm really learning how to use my old clad and I'm loving it. I just don't trust it to do the burger now because I don't know, I don't really know how to not get it stuck on there. So but, being that we're on the air, I just want to play it safe and do it on the, on this. I actually love this bit. I make the eggs here in the morning, so. I really love this material. One more. Yes. Bike Lover Susie says, I've been a professional scratch cook for 40 years and you've taught me some really great stuff and healthy to boot. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Okay, this is, I think, smell it then, please. And then I'm gonna, oh, we need to yes? get it together. It smells fantastic, right? Wow. Right? You're gonna make a, you're gonna make a, bur a burger out of that? With some beans? Mm-hmm. I cannot wait. Okay, so now let's transfer all this. Can you move this plate, please, on the question? Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to bring our friend, um, food processor. Can you hand it to me, my love? See, that's all. And we're going to get things together because... Do you go here? Yeah, hopefully the fries will be ready. I'm starting to wonder. Well, then we'll the just leave them a little longer and we'll report later as to how quickly I ate them all. I know, I'm blocking the star. I know, I know. We are all made of stars, as Moby saying. We are all made of stars. Yeah. My black beans, drained, rinsed. This is one can of black beans. Let's put our beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful onion and mushroom. Oh, this is so delicious. And you know what? If, if it doesn't, if it doesn't bind together, we can call it a black bean scramble. Oh, will there be enough fries for the three of us? What do you mean three? So now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some flex meal. I would say that I added a tablespoon of flex meal. Sorry, I keep forgetting that. I'm not really just doing it by myself. Now, let's, okay, let's measure this. And then you can always, remember, you can always add thickener. You can, just like the sugar, you can take it, remove it, okay? So let's try with half a cup of oats. Raw oats. Raw oats. Okay. And then I'm going to add some soy sauce. Not too much because I'm afraid that Salty. Some, why do I know how to pronounce it? I'm supposed to be a cook. Wor Worcester? Worcester. Nobody Wor can pronounce it. Wor Wor Worcester Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Or Worcestershire sauce, as somebody said. Just, I don't know. let's try now, okay? Let's start with this. And I'm not adding the, um, I'm not adding the breadcrumbs yet, because I want to wait. I don't want to risk it the burger to be too so now I'm not doing it super fine so you know when you can choose the thickness of it I'm in the middle I don't I want to find some pieces okay so let's start I'm gonna pulse it Let me get a spatula. Here. By the way, yes. Queen Hello Dragon calls it wishy sauce. I love it. I'm gonna. Call, can I steal it from you? Ooh, the smell is fantastic. The smell is good. Now that how they're gonna stick together, I don't know. if this is the one show which by the way I'm recording so you're gonna have this on YouTube it's the one show that doesn't come out well <laughs> but we can, we, we can, we'll just, nice. we'll just nice. tell them it tastes good um, nice I'm gonna add some salt some Worcestershire Worshi Worshi is there some soy sauce Worshi Worshi now now Worshi um, but what would be great in this one is uh, some chili flakes too. I'm not gonna add them because I really want Catherine to eat them. So I'm gonna add some fennel seed. Uh, yeah, so, but chili flakes in these, perfect. Let me uh, blend once more. And then we can try and see if it works. Love it. I'm gonna add some uh, breadcrumbs. You know why I'm not adding eggs? Because when you, when you add eggs, it stops being a burger, and it starts to be a. It, start, it starts to be more of a meatball kind of thing, you know. I added half a cup, and again, this is a. I'm just trying here with you guys, but I'm gonna give you a more precise recipe. Once I figure it out, because you know I'm figuring this out with you. So where is my? I think that the consistency may... Oh! Babe! Kid. Then I have to cook it. Try it. Mm. What do you think? 
Does it need salt? A little bit, right? I think it's really, really good. I put a little salt. If Catherine didn't steal it all. I think it's great, but I think it needs some salt. Somebody, by the way, said that they, you turn them on to the salt flakes and they use them all the time. Not sponsored, by the way. I'm so happy, because I love them. They really make a difference. I'm not using them here, because, oops, I want to add a little bit more out. I think we're, I think we're there. What, what, let me see the consistency. Because we really have to cook this now. I mean, the flavor is amazing. I'm wondering, how am I gonna make this tiny? I find it really, it? huh? Is it too loose? <laughs> I'm adding some flex meal here. I find I'm gonna, it's gonna be difficult to, um, to get together, to bind. Someone was right. How are we gonna bind it, guys? So you don't worry, I will give you the, I will give you the right, and I will give you the right quantities. This is really an experiment. See, is there enough salt? Mm, nice, ooh, nice burger. Okay. Now, I don't know if the consistency is right, but let's try it, right? I'm gonna make one. If the consistency is not right, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, and I'm gonna, Give you the quantity uh, after I make it for us, then, okay? So let's, um, because it, it's, it, it, it's probably a little sticky, but I also don't want it to make it too, um, I don't want to make it too, I'm going to show you. Oh, no, actually, you know, maybe pretty good. Now, let's put some oil in here, right? Somebody uses quinoa, but you are. Yeah, allergic. I love quinoa, but I'm allergic. So, so can you remove this, um, Ben, please, the, the food processor? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna continue this. So I added some oil, just because I want some crunch, and I want the crust. Up here, Sorry, up babe. Here. Sorry, Thank babe. you, babe. Sorry, babe. So look at the patties, perfect. So I think we're, we're very close to the, to the right quantity, okay? Regular burger. Let's see now. I'm just gonna clean my hands. So I think we're close to it. So I'm going to, I should probably have written down the quantities that I used tonight, but it's an excuse to make it again. So these can be easily freeze, fr freeze, frozen. Like, no, Ben, don't eat the dough, Ben, please. I just have a little bit to see if it's good, right? Salt. It's great. It has enough salt. That's what it has more. Here. Huh? It has more. This is the perfect consistency. You guys, look. It keeps together. Look yeah, it looks this. good. Nice, right? Now let cook the thing because I'm hungry. You know, guys, when you start, there are a few brands that I, um, Preggers is a good one that I use when, when I need to, when I don't have the time, and it's, it's fairly healthy. However, I think that when you start making these things yourself, then you're going to find it hard to go back and eat in the processed stuff. Now, what I um, love about this, that I can make them and then freeze them. So I have, I probably gonna have six here, six of this size, or you can make them thinner and, uh, and have more. But I think the six, this is, this yields six. Let me see, oh, let me check on the potatoes. So yes, this is, somebody this is asked a, about potatoes. Yeah, because I can smell them. Woo, woo, we have some burnt. I think, yay, yay that's the best. I think. Obviously, Kathy, you did not miss the fries. You're Dionise as well. Oh. Aha. They're not really crunchy, though. Huh. I'm wondering why. Why, guys, are these not crunchy? Is that because they're not ready? They're probably not ready, my love. You've got to put them in longer. Wait long a second. Put them in longer, babe. Put them in longer. Okay, this burger is cooking. Mm -hmm. So. Longer. Longer? Uh-huh. Is there too much oil? No, I don't think so. I just bake them longer. Yeah, but they are kind of... Um, they're delicious, but... Yeah, they but they're kind in. of mushy. No, put them in longer. What does everybody say for making the fries more crispy? Oh, they're kind of mushy. I, what do people say for making the fries more crispy? Y'all, hmm. convection oven for 15 minutes. Well, I kept them on in the convection oven for way more than that. Another 15. 
broiler for a couple of minutes. That's a good idea. Broiler for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna put them. The taste is fantastic. I'm gonna add the some taste salt. Is great. Put them in while the burger is cooking. Now we're getting to the end. So do we wanna? Do you guys wanna know the title of this show? Because this is gonna be heading on. This is gonna be the deal. Okay. So who's ready for the name of the show? Do I have a yes? Yes. I'm flipping this. Oh, you guys. Do I have a yes? Yes, you do. Absolutely. Okay. So before we try you this. We have several yeses. Okay, so this show is called. Wait for it. Instagram to table, everybody's cooking show. Everybody's cooking show or everybody's show? No, everybody's cooking show, so it's okay. clear. Instagram to table, you guys. The everybody's cooking show. My show, your show. How My do you show? think Instagram to table? Your show. I love it. Instagram to table, what do you think? It's getting, I love it. It's getting thumbs up. Yes, I love it. Beautiful burger, an amazing name. Love it in all caps. Another thumbs up, a heart. Yay! Love it from Mary Ellen Farrell. Emma loves it. Uh, Joan Pullman loves it. Three hearts. Love it. People seem to like it. Uh, Rebecca yes. Baum says um, three smiley faces with heart eyes. Um, it. Teresa Kaliakas, how are you? She loves Hey, it. Teresa! Teresa! You know what? All right. Oh my what God. Teresa's been like you guys, but she's been a big, big first fan and, and uh, inspirer and promoter of mine. So thank you, Teresa. So Instagram to table every Monday at 5 p.m. Lindsay Coy gave two lightning bolts. Hell yeah! And Queen Howl Dragon made this emoji that I'm too, my eyes are too bad to read, but I know it's positive. I think that this is right. And Jane Fitzgerald wrote, it's our show. It's your show. That's right. Uh, I think that we're ready to try this. So see, once, once it's here, this cooks pretty easily because everything is cooked already. So, now, other thing that I forgot to tell you. I don't have a bun here. What? No. What about the However, uh, sourdough? However, the idea, we have a beautiful sourdough bread. So, but, you know, of course, now we're going to try this. doesn't look very appealing the way it is, but believe me, it kind of does, does actually. But you can, of course, put it on a bun, mayo, mustard, ketchup, whatever is your favorite. Uh, let's try it. And then I'm going to, let's hope the fries, but the fries are a little mushy. And if the convection is on, the, I don't know. A little disappointed, but let's try it. Imagine this with mayo, chipotle mayo, uh, and uh, see, it perfectly stay together, you guys. Look, uh, do we have mayo? Mayo isn't vegan, love. I don't care, I'm not vegan. I know, but you were making a vegan burger. Let's have some mayo. We're gonna imagine. Imagine vegan mayo. Do we also have ketchup? No. But I have uh, the so Ohio so cook. Okay. This is a very good okay. mayo, I really like this one. It's been here, it's been in the French for a long time. Yeah. No, that's not, I don't think it's right for this. I just did something. Well, I want to try probably without mayo first. Let's try. Bango sweet soy sauce. This? I hope you guys know that I'm not lying. This is probably the best bean burger. I have ever made slash had. It's delicious. And with the mayo, it's of course over the top. Isn't this amazing? It's actually great. Oh my god. I'm it's not actually great. I'm not lying to you. You did put you, this. Did you put mayo on it? I just added with some mayo. Catherine, where's the chatter? Oh she's Catherine, upstairs. she's upstairs. I hope she likes it. I think she's about to take a bath. Oops. She didn't get to eat before the bath, maybe. With the mayo? Oh, yeah. Guys, please believe me. I'm not lying. Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> Queen said, "Act mayo bad." I swear to God. No. This with the fennel seed, secret ingredient. This, 
I would eat this every day over meat. And I'm not here to convert anyone. This is amazing. It's amazing. Really, 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 it's really, really delicious. Good. And I think that the trick is really, and again, I will give you the, 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 um, the ingredients. The trick here, take the time to saute the onion, the mushroom, the fennel seed, be generous with the fennel seed if you like it. Uh, soy sauce, or she, or, or she, or she sauce. But please, try this, okay? Now, let's see if the fries are edible or not. Ah, Runhard said if she lives next door, you should be knocking on your door right now. Now, these fries with did the salt taste. Did you put on the broiler? No, because I... They're still a little soft. They're still a little soft. However... Hit the broiler, babe. Yeah, I should hit the broiler. I'm going to hit the broiler. But we'll tell you about it time. next week. Actually, the edges are really crunchy. I'm going to hit the broiler. Whoever suggests the broiler... And also, there's mayo. But this with ketchup? Some people don't like mayo. That redhead in LA said, I'm thinking guacamole with tomato bam. slices and a fresh ground lemon pepper would be excellent. Bang, bang, bang. These are amazing. Guys, what a oh, dinner. You just said what guacamole. A dinner. Uh, what a dinner. Avocado. What it's a dinner. Devil's I'm going to put this in the broiler. Um, mm. What a dinner. Mm. Seriously. Bam. What a dinner. God, I wish I could have you over for dinner. But believe me, I'm working on coming your way. And... I am working on coming your way and I'm working on cooking together for real. I wish I could share this with you. I wish you find a place in the middle of the United States and meet up and all together. How does that sound? Um, I put the broiler on for a little while, but with the broiler you really need to... Will you post the recipe? I will. So, Instagram to table every Monday. I'm so excited, and I'm so excited this came out. I swear, I never made it before. And I wish I had a bun to actually have a real like burger, but I'm so happy this came out beautiful. Farm to table, everybody's show. Cooking is in parentheses for those who don't know that we cook in here. In Utah, we have, we have, we try, oh, wait, wait. Oh, we, oh, sh keep saying shoot, you're not supposed to. Oh, why don't okay. you say shoot? <laughs> Yay, people like the name. Okay, so in a few minutes, so hot in here. Bean burger with fennel seed and sauteed mushrooms and onions. And we have sweet potato fries that now are in the broiler. So let's not burn that completely. But I think that... They have to be in the broiler. Yeah, but Can I need to just... put it on the top shelf? Huh? The brother only works if it's on the top shelf. No, it's not the top shelf. Okay, let's let's say goodbye to our friends and then Bye. we can. Some of them are kind of burnt. That's how I like. <laughs> Guys. IG to table, but, love it. Seriously, this was amazing. I love this. I love tonight. Tonight was one of my all-time favorite. Um, I love what we're creating. I told you and uh, how we talk and how we have fun, and actually the fact that. I make my dinner with you guys. So, thank you all for being here. Do you have anything to say before you come here? Come here. Rio, come here. Say. Rio Rita said, "I wish it was Instagram to my table right now." No. <laughs> come here. Now come here. Put your hand on. Say goodbye. We have one minute remaining. I have bed paint. I have bed bald bald thank bed head. Thank you for being here. Can I have Okay. Guys. Thank you so, friend. so much. I love tonight. Recipe soon. See you on Instagram throughout the week. I really love you guys. So, thank you. Bye, 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 bye. Have a beautiful week, you guys. Bye. You are my friends. So, it's not just living with my friends. You really are. Bye.